I want to show you how to multi-app. Give you a live demonstration. I got my phone. I'm tapping on stride. I'm clicking. I want to track my miles. It'll start tracking for me. I close that. I go to Grubhub. Tap on available so I can toggle on that I am available. I'm available to take orders. Then I go to Uber. Then I'm going to tap on the word go. I like to leave Uber open. And I'm going to sit here for a little bit until I get orders in. Well, what do you know? Here we go. I'm going to tap the bottom of Uber Eats. I'm going to tap the red button. I went offline. I'm going to open up Grubhub. Now, that's an order I will take. El Saba Dominica, Dominicano for $9.74 payout in Freeport. Accept order. There you go. I'm squeezing this in, folks. I just delivered to a hospital. I pull all the way to the side. I put my flashes on. I put my sign up. I have several of them. And I get out of the way real quick. Hospitals are hard to deliver to. I would have, stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to show you how I multi-app throughout the day. But with this hospital order, on the way to the hospital, they sent me another order, Grubhub. But I didn't want to put the camera on because I could be in that emergency department for at least 10 minutes. And I don't mind doing it for this local hospital, South Nassau, <laughs> because they all tip me very good. So it's my job, that's my job. Okay guys, I'm on my way to a delivery a few towns away from my home. And I don't want to receive offers once I get out there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to toggle off. And I'm going to head back to where I live. Because I just want to stay near home today. I got too much to do. So when you do that, you don't have to stay, you don't have to keep the app on, you can shut it off. I'm finishing this delivery, I'm going to deliver it to Seaford from Freeport. It was almost an $11 payout. But I'm going to head home after that, and if they ring me closer to home for another order, I'm willing to do a few more today, then I'm calling it a day, because I, I don't want to be on the road all day. So. You don't have to stay where they tell you to be. You can really manipulate. I'm not manipulating it to be nasty. I'm manipulating the system to work the way I want it to work. I'm an independent contractor. I tell these apps where I want to work. They don't tell me where they want me to work. You know, I know that's hard to do with Uber Eats because you don't know where they're sending you. But then you have to be choosy, you know, when you're working the time of day, if there's traffic. In one mile, turn left on Washington Avenue. Because they might send you, like yesterday, I was sent really far away from the pickup, but there was no traffic. So, I arrived, and I delivered. But because I toggled off, I'm un unavailable. I'm going to get closer. I, I, get cl closer to my home, my town, because I don't want to be far away today. I just want to squeeze in whatever I can while I'm doing the things that I'm doing. I got to start working on my business. I'm working on my home. But this gives me the opportunity throughout the day. I'm taking a break for a couple hours, I'll make a few bucks. And tonight, I'll do the same thing. So, stay with me, I'll fast forward the video, and stay tuned. Now I'm driving into a town a lot closer to the town I live, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to toggle online. Okay, I'm taking orders again. I'm going to put Uber Eats back on. 
we'll see who wins me first. Who either dings me or cowbells me first. Because now I'm heading home. I didn't want to be four towns away. But no traffic, high payout, I did it. So that's how that works. You don't have to stay wherever they tell you to be. I did that. When I first started, oh my, I drove everywhere. Then I said, wait a minute, why don't I just deliver that? I'll, you know, I'll tap it off, I'll toggle off, and when I get back closer to home, I'll put it back on. So before I get to my apartment, if it's meant for me to have another order in my local area, then I'll receive an order. That's how that works. I, I drove around the first year like a nutty, taking every order, thinking that I had to drive everywhere just to make a buck. No, I get to pick and choose. They're not, they're not paying, I'm not an employee. I'm not an employee. I'm an independent contractor, an independent freelancer, and they don't pay my taxes. I do. So I get to pick and choose what jobs that I want to accept. That's how that works, folks. So I'll leave it on, and hopefully I'm like, you know, eight minutes away from my home. Let's see if I get an offer before I pull up. And if I don't, I don't mind being home this afternoon. I just thought I'd take a break and do a few um, delivery jobs to make a few bucks and I'm going to do it again later. You have to, you know, I'm doing a lot so I have to go back and forth. But it gives me the freedom that if I want to work tonight between 8 and 11, I know I'm going to get a few offers tonight. You know, but I'm going to stay local near my home. I don't want to go far. So let's see if they, you know, just checking the sound, making sure that it's on. My first Grubhub sent me a $4.25 offer. I said no. And then they sent me two high payouts. To me, 10 and up is a high payout. You know, on the higher side. And I accepted them. Here we go, guys. Grubhub is cowbelling me. I'm going to shut off Uber Eats. Going to open up Grubhub. And see what the offer is. Of course I'll do that. $9.46. One town past my home. I'm going to accept that offer. Multi-apping at its best. Hi, everyone. I hope this video helps you practice multi-apping. It is. It's not easy to do. I couldn't do it in the beginning, and I never thought of doing it in the beginning. I've multi-apped three apps. I've done four. I shouldn't, I, I'm not, and that's really true. I've done DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, and Uber. And I remember, I, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday, and I had everything on. And if I didn't have four apps on, on Super Bowl Sunday, I would have made no money. And I remember, I didn't make as much as I thought I would, but I still made $150 plus dollars. So that was a lesson learned, and I needed it, so I did it. So I'm really happy I had a few offers today. Now I'm, I'm putting together, I put together this video, which helps my business. Now I'm going to go back to um, doing some spackling stuff. And later on, I'm going to have a bite, and I plan on heading out probably about 6.30 and work till 9 or 10. I'll swipe on from my home, and whoever rings me first, I'll be ready to go out and do a few deliveries. And, you know, I plan on making at least another 30 bucks. I made $29.51, and the first order I accepted was at $12.04. And the third one I accepted, that was at the end of the video that you just watched, the end of the clip, 
was at 114 and I was in my home by 10 to 2 because the drop off was only down the block. So it is possible to multi app. It takes practice. I know they have programs and software programs out there to help you do what I do manually, but I happen to like working two apps at a time. And I'm very lucky in the market that I'm in that I work two apps. Even if it's a slow day, I'm going to make some kind of money. You know, so, you know, that's that, guys. I'm really happy. I got three early one, early deliveries in. One paid $9.74, one paid $10.31, and one paid $9.46. And they were all worth my time. Two were close. One was four towns away, but no traffic. And I zipped right home. So I'll be going back out later. And I'll be doing exactly what I showed you. Stride, Grubhub, Uber Eats, whoever grabs me first. So good luck practicing with those apps. Don't panic, you know. All right. I hope this video helps you. See you in the next video clip. And thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And if you want to save money when you gas up, visit the description below. And you will see the link to the Get Upside app. Join from me. I'll see you later. Bye.